So this is something that pisses me off about my job. Okay, I work at Walgreens, and I have to stock the shelves. And listen, dude, I don't give a fucking shit about this job, all right? I go out of my way to avoid any hard work, just in general. You know, you're going to pay me minimum wage, you're going to get a minimum wage effort, okay? 99% of everything that goes on at my job, I don't give a fuck about it, okay? I'm trying to hide from the customers, trying to hide from the boss, trying to hide from just any type of hard work, okay? I don't want to fucking deal with it. But there is one thing that I care about at my job, and that's the Arizona cans. And I fucking hate how the Arizona cans are not in the proper order at my job, and nobody gives a fuck about it, okay? You know, the Arizona cans with the fucking, the ones that Trayvon Martin had when he got his ass kicked. You know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I know different stores sell different flavors. So some of them have the ones with, like, Michael Jordan, like, cream soda, whatever. We don't sell that one. So I don't want any comments saying, Oh, but what about, you know, Michael Jordan, fucking this and that. And, uh, okay, so just bear with me for this video. You got to put yourself in my mind selling the cans that we sell at the store. And I also know that sometimes certain cans have, like, different designs. So they might be different from where you're, you're coming from. Okay, so, the, so this is the cans we have. And we have, we got Arnold Palmer Light, Mucho Mango, Arnold Palmer Zero, Lemonade, Raspberry Iced Tea, Diet Green Tea, Lemon Iced Tea, Grape Aid, One Half Mango Iced Tea, Green Tea, and Sweet Tea, and Strawberry Lemonade, okay? And um, here's the thing, is that that's the order that we stock the cans in the shelf, and it's like, I don't know if I'm fucking autistic or some shit, okay? I don't know, but... I can't be dealing with this type of bullshit. Why the fuck do we order them in that order? It, there's no sense to that order, and it just kind of pisses me off. It gives me, like, this type of weird feeling. Like, I feel like if you're going to have something in or in some type of order, you got to put at least a little bit of thought into it because that's the way I do things. Like, if you're going to stock your video games in a shelf, right, you got to have some type of fucking order. Like, you got to... You, you, you can do fucking alphabetical. Maybe you want to do them by publisher or what the fuck ever. Maybe you want to do it by series and have it chronological, right? So you'd have fucking Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and then Fallout 4, you know? Even though alphabetically, Fallout 4 would come after 3. Whatever. Just have some type of fucking method to your madness. That's the way I say you gotta do things. But, yeah, it just kind of fucking pisses me off when I see that that's the order that we're stocking the Arizona cans in. It's like, who, who made this dumbass decision? So like I said, usually I don't care about anything at my work, but one time I tried to fucking fix this shit and they're like, oh, no, 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 you can't do that because the company wants it a certain way. You know, we'll get in trouble if you change it. I'm like, what the? F That's just so dumb. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to tell you how I would ideally and autistically organize these Arizona cans. All right. All right. So let's go. Let's go. First, we're going to meet every can. We got to meet every character in this game. Okay. So. Right off the fucking bat, we have shit that's disrupting my autism, okay? Arnold Palmer Light is the normal Arizona can. It's the most standard one. The quintessential Arizona can. And that pisses me off because Arnold Palmer regular, there is no Arnold Palmer regular. And if there is, no store I've ever been to sells it. And even when you Google it, Arnold Palmer Light is like the normal one. If you just Google Arnold Palmer, it'll show the light one. So that already pisses me off. It's like have it's like if Coke only sold Diet Coke. It's like no, then that would be regular Coke. You know what I mean? But whatever. Okay. So like I said, it's the quintessential basic Arizona can. If this was a character in Smash Bros, it would be Mario. You know what I mean? It would be the the plain Jane one. And uh, just to talk about it a little bit, it's considered an Arnold Palmer. It's got half iced tea, half lemonade, and then it's got the picture of Arnold Palmer on the front. And it's important because you got to fucking, you got to know the details of the, of the cans in order to organize them, okay? So then we got a fruit juice cocktail, Mucho Mango, okay? Um, this one's one of my favorite flavors, actually, and it doesn't have much special to talk about other than it's considered a fruit juice cocktail, and it's got that that pyramid design that you see on a lot of Arizona cans. So now we go into Arnold Palmer Zero. So it's just like Arnold Palmer Light, only it has zero calories and it still goes under the Arnold Palmer category, half iced tea, half lemonade, and it still has that picture of Arnold Palmer. Okay, so it's a derivative of Arnold Palmer Light. Okay, then we have the lemonade. 
right? And so this is considered Golden Bear Lemonade. So it's got that Golden Bear logo. It's got the Jack Nicholas signature. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't watch golf. But yeah, it's in the Golden Bear category. It's got honey in it too, but whatever. So then we got the Raspberry Iced Tea. So just iced tea with raspberry. And this one, it's got that real common checkerboard pattern that you see all the time with these Arizona cans. And this one's got the red checkerboard pattern. Then we got the Diet Green Tea. Okay, the diet green tea is pretty unique in terms of design. It's got like a Chinese lady on it. I never seen that before. So that right there makes it really unique. And obviously it's a derivative of regular green tea. Uh, I wish that I could fr freaking introduce green tea first, but I can't because the order is retarded. So yeah, that's diet green tea. Then we have lemon iced tea, um, just like the raspberry iced tea only it's got the green checkerboard pattern and obviously has lemon then we have grape aid and grape aid is the most unique can in the store because it the only thing that it has similar to other cans is that it's got the pyramid design um other than that it's it's unique it's a grape aid i don't even know what it is i think that's the one that trayvon martin had too so uh <laughs> rest rest in peace uh watermelon uh this one's also a fruit juice cocktail and it also has the pyramid design. This one's also really good too. The one half mango iced tea. Um, This one's weird too. This one's a fucking oddball because first of all, when I Google it and stuff, it barely even comes up. And I don't even see this flavor that often at other stores. So I don't know why, this one's just like an oddball one. I don't know if it's some type of bootleg and Mexican shit. Not really sure. But um, also it's the only can that is written in the format of being half iced tea and half mango as opposed to just saying mango flavoring so what the fuck does that mean half mango is it half mucho mango i don't know i really don't but anyway yeah it's an oddball um it doesn't it does have the checkerboard pattern and this time it's an orange color so yeah that's a that's a weird one i hate half mango iced tea so green tea right um so green tea is is like the normal version of the diet green tea that i explained about earlier and basically, it's just green tea with ginseng and honey. And it's got the, the cherry blossom pattern. That's pretty unique. That's that's real pretty. So yeah, we just got the green tea. And then after that, we have the sweet tea. Sweet tea is pretty unique as well. Um, if you look at it, it has like a half-assed version of the pyramid pattern. And that always kind of threw me off. Like, what the? Why does that have that there? But the rest of the can, it's got a picture of a boat on it, okay? It doesn't have a golfer or a fruit. It has a picture of a boat. And, yeah, it's just plain old sweet tea. One of my favorite flavors. And then lastly, we got strawberry lemonade. So, strawberry lemonade is kind of like the normal lemonade, only this time strawberry. And it's basically just a palette swap of the honey lemonade, only it's pink. So, yeah, this one tastes pretty good. And it's got the same Jack Nicholas signature on it and everything is considered a golden bear, right? So, okay, so now that we've met all the cans, now we gotta organize them. So, okay, the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta take these cans and you gotta organize them into different chunks. They're all scattered all around. Let's put them into some chunks, okay? So I say that we organize it into four different, like, groups. There's Arnold Palmer, Teas, Fruit Juice Cocktails, and Golden Bear Lemonades, right? Arnold Palmer, that's easy. That's Arnold Palmer Light and Arnold Palmer Zero. The teas are Raspberry Iced Tea, Diet Green Tea, Lemon Iced Tea, Half Mango Iced Tea, Green Tea, and Sweet Tea. Then we got the Fruit Juice Cocktails, which is Mucho Mango, Watermelon, and Grape Aid. Now, Grape Aid is a weird one, right? It's like, well, it's not a fruit juice cocktail, but... It's fruit flavored and it looks exactly like the other two. So, like I said, Grape Aid is the oddball in this whole thing. I'm gonna put it with the fruit juice cocktails, but like I said, that, that one I acknowledge, it's kind of an oddball in that group, but I would put it there. And then Golden Bear Lemonade, we got the Honey Lemonade and the Strawberry Lemonade, right? So the next question is, between these four groups, how should we organize them? And I think, like I said, Arnold Palmer is the quintessential Arizona can. So it should go first. It consists of tea and lemonade. So you'd think either tea or lemonade has to go next. How do you decide between the two? Well, 
You see, when Arnold Palmer on the can, it lists iced tea first. So you might think, I think tea should go first. And I do think that that's a good argument to have tea come before lemonade. But the thing is, I'm looking at the design of these cans, and I just feel like the Golden Bear lemonades look like they, they have that golfer design, just like the Arnold Palmer can does too. I just think it would look better to just have the Arnold Palmers followed by the Golden Bears. And then following that, you got no more cans that have a picture of a golfer on it. You know what I mean? They all kind of fit that, uh, what is it, archetype? Is that even the right word for it? But uh, yeah, so that's why I'm going to put the first thing is Arnold Palmer, then the Golden Bear, then the teas, and that just leaves the fruit juice cocktails for last. You get me? Okay, now let's go within each group and let's organize them, right? So what do we got here? Arnold Palmer. Obviously, Arnold Palmer Light should go first. I've said it a million times. Quintessential, yada, yada, yada. That leaves Arnold Palmer Zero to go last. Okay, we're done with that. That's easy. Now, the lemonades, okay? I think, despite the fact that it's honey lemonade, I mean, it's yellow. That's the fucking standard lemonade. What color are lemons? They're yellow, right? This is the standard one. I know it's honey lemonade. It can might as well be called regular lemonade, okay? So that's why I think honey lemonade should go first, followed by strawberry lemonade. And strawberry lemonade always goes second. You know what I mean? Every time you go to a restaurant, you'll say, like, oh, do you guys have pink lemonade? They'll say, no, we have we have normal lemonade. They never say, oh, we have pink lemonade, but no normal lemonade. You know what I mean? It's a derivative of lemonade. I think I'm overusing that word, but whatever. So, like I said, in the, the order of the lemonade should be honey lemonade, then strawberry lemonade. Now the teas. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is hard. So... It's hard to decide what to do. We already have some obvious things. Like, it should green tea should come before diet green tea, obviously. And the big question is sweet tea. Sweet tea is all alone here. It doesn't have a partner. So it should either go first or last, I'm assuming. So part of me wants to say that sweet tea should go last because it also has a design that is similar to all the fruit juice cocktails. It's not perfectly the same. And I know some of these other cans also have the pyramid design, but the sweet tea, all that it has similar to other cans is the pyramid design. So I'm going to put that as last, right? Okay, so now the big question is what goes first, the green tea or the iced tea? And I think the iced tea should go first, and that is because we listed the, the big chunks in order of Arnold Palmer, lemonade, then the tea. And if you look at Arnold Palmer, it's half iced tea. You know what I mean? So I just think that if the reason that iced tea is third is because of its relationship to Arizona, you might as well put iced tea in front. Really, it could go either way. Green tea is also, I believe, more popular than the iced tea. Who knows? Who cares? Actually, I do care. That's why I made a fucking video on it. But um, yeah, I, I would put iced tea in the front. Now, within the iced tea, right, you've got the three. First of all, that half mango, whatever, it's so weird. Have it go last. I don't, it doesn't deserve one or two. That's what you get for having a retarded fucking name. And then you got lemon and raspberry. And I think lemon should go first, okay? Um, I think lemon iced tea is the most common flavor of iced tea. It's the most plain one. I, I, I think lemon iced tea should go before raspberry, in my opinion. So that would make the teas go in this order. Lemon iced tea, raspberry iced tea, half mango iced tea, green tea, diet green tea, sweet tea. I think that that's a good order. I, I really do. Okay, so fruit juice cocktails. The one thing I know is that grape aid shouldn't go in the middle. Mucho mango and watermelon at least share the same classification as a fruit juice cocktail. Grape aid is like this pseudo fruit juice cocktail. So I don't care if it goes first or last, it has to not go in the middle. Now, whether or not it goes first or last, I am deciding to put it in front because we're going to go alphabetical here. I don't really see any other way to organize it, and I just think that that's the best way to do it because then you can go Grape Aid, Mucho Mango, Watermelon. It's all in nice chrono... It's, not, it's all in alphabetical order, and you're keeping Mucho Mango and Watermelon together. And that's it. That's it. So in, in, in total... Or in the final order, we got Arnold Palmer Light, Arnold Palmer Zero, Lemonade, Strawberry Lemonade, Lemon Iced Tea, Raspberry Iced Tea, One Half Mango Iced Tea, Green Tea, 
diet green tea, sweet tea, grape aid, mucho mango, and watermelon. And um, yeah, so it's not perfect, but I think it's the best that we can do. You know, um, it's definitely better than how it is right now. So yeah, I don't really know how to end this video. I just wanted to explain my woes working at freaking Walgreens, having to deal with this nonsense. Um, yeah, have a great day.